Hey guys! So this is Tari's Kitchen and we are back again. Um, you know, I've been gone for a few months and um, you know, it's been peak and I've been doing this and I've been doing that and we're back. So today we're going to be making some uh, jollof rice and it's kind of my first time making it but I'm gonna make the Zimbabwean version okay so we don't have jello fries but we're gonna have it because anything's possible so without further ado I'm gonna be using a recipe that I saw on YouTube I'll leave the woman's dis like um, channel below in the description box and yay guys I'm fairly new so I'm very new actually on YouTube so if you have not subscribed please subscribe I'm trying to put like young Zimbabwean chefs uh, on the map you know because there's not many of us on well there is on YouTube but not like many young ones so yeah let's get it guys basmati rice for now I'm just making two portions so I'm not using a lot of things it says um use peppers so the peppers that I'm gonna be using are these ones I've also got a green one I'm just not showing you guys I'm gonna be using a red onion because I love the taste of this and it will add some sweetness you know to tone down any hot spices in there and I also use my favorite onions which are spring onions love them they add amazing taste to food you know um, it also yeah, it says use fresh tomatoes and I'm gonna use this vine ones because they've also got a uh, taste that I like you know they look like those little ones that go on the steak in it yeah you know they bring some flavor yeah I'm gonna use this probably just two because it's just two portions Experiment sort of thing so I'm just gonna be using the two tubes which is the garlic tube and the ginger tube but here I don't have anything against thyme and I have also um, it says use six bell peppers I'm assuming those are the ones that are spicy and <laughs> no we don't do them you don't do them things in this house or I don't do them things so I'm gonna be using for that um, extra kick yeah I can use some Cajun seasoning a moderate amount as well because this is nice in chicken especially but if I if you use too much it's just too much I can't do it I can't I can't eat I can't have it I can't speak today can I yes yeah, so I'm gonna use Cajun seasoning for that extra you know uh, spiciness flavor that's like my alternative to make it kind of like hot as well hotness in this yes I said hotness I can taste I can taste like some heavy spice in that so rice here this is like 300 grams which is like one cup so 300 grams which is like one cup and it also says use cubes and I'll be using the Maggie cubes I don't know if you can see that but yeah I'll be using the, the Maggi cubes and um, it also says use pepper and this is not pepper <laughs> so shambles uh, yeah so black pepper so for the first step I am gonna be chopping all these vegetables uh, to become smaller so as you can see I've just cut the vegetables into smaller pieces so I can put them in this blender so the next step I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be putting the vegetables in the bottle so we can blend them I had forgotten to add some ginger and garlic so I'm gonna add a squeeze that's the garlic and I'm going to add the squeeze of the ginger and then after that we just need a little bit of water in there which I'm gonna add now 
So I've just added water, ginger and garlic and I'm just going to blend it again. So the next step, I've just put some um, vegetable oil and coconut oil in a pot and I'm going to put in some onions in it, make sure portions so Okay, so as you can see, the spring onions are sautéed enough, but I'm just going to add some red onion just because, you know, yeah. So, some tomato puree. That will also add some color to it and just stir that. Just keep stirring it. So the next step, I'm going to put all the stuff I blended into the pot. And I'm just gonna let it cook and simmer and let all the flavors you know come together and I'm gonna reduce the temperature and as I've done that I'm going to put all the seasonings. So this is a Maggi cube that I'm going to put in and I'm going to put in a bit of thyme. Not too much. I like to taste as I go. And the next thing will be the jollof seasoning which is quite spicy i can taste i can smell it and the next thing i'm going to put is the black pepper the other thing i'll put is some maggi liquid seasoning this one's not maggi but it tastes like the maggi seasoning one and a bit of salt and I'm just gonna stir that okay after I've done that I'm just gonna close the pot and leave it to simmer the curry powder this is the madras curry powder not a lot as well because I can already smell this it's a bit spicy up in here and a bit of the Cajun seasoning this is gonna be hella spicy I can I can smell it that's it next thing so the next step we're gonna do is to add the rice this is just washed rice it's not pre-cooked like I said I've used one cup in there okay so as you can see uh, the rice has been coated with the sauce and I've put it on a low temperature so the next thing you're gonna do is put foil over the under the lid and then put the lid so uh, all the steam cooks the rice so you're just gonna put some foil um, and put the shiny side outside and put the 
not shiny side inside and cover your pot with it. That's the rice, that's the lid. Put it on a low temperature and so all the water from the rice is finished and we are gonna see how it has come out. Ooh, look at that. That is gorgeous. Look at that color as well. I like the color. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna plate it. Make sure when you when you finish cooking the rice, the last two minutes you put it at a like high um, temperature, so you just get that like sort of smokiness. out to be good man it's not very spicy like in terms of like I can afford to add more you know just a little bit of spice maybe something fresh I'm gonna see I don't I, chilies would just be a bit extra but I'll put maybe more uh, curry powder more Cajun seasoning and stuff like that I like the ingredients that I used but um we can always do better so i will show you an updated version of my take on uh jollof rice in the zimbabwean way my way and i like my way so yeah this was the um zimbabwean version of jollof rice uh thank you so much for watching and please 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 subscribe to my channel i've got a few videos on there when I was still starting like about a year, you no, know, about six, eight months ago. Please, please, please just so guys, we're all done 